We're going from this using weight. Using weight. We're going from this to hopefully some faux locks. I'm tired of my hair being out like this. You might say, wear it out in the afro. No, because it get matted, tangled, and abby. We're going to try to do the butterfly locks. Oh, wish me luck. What are we doing? Doing our hair. What are we doing? Doing our hair. So, I know you clicked on the video because hopefully you saw the thumbnail and I had some cute butterfly locks. That's what we're going for today. We're going for butterfly locks. This will be my first time doing butterfly locks. Um, I have done the faux locks once upon a time those turn out really good so i have faith the butterfly locks require a little twist to it so we're going to see if i can perfect that today and create a cute little style what you need i'm telling you what you need is if this is going to turn out perfect this is just trial and error what i got hopefully i have good results is the bobby boss new locks in the color 1b i got three packs i really don't want a lot of locks i'm doing them this long i kind of wanted them shorter because i kind of want them like right here but we'll see and this is the hair i got the brazilian water curl we're trying this this is going to be my first time working with this hair so we'll see what results yield from that um oh I bet y'all want to know how much it cost. So these, I got them in the 14 inch color 1B. These cost $7.99. And then this total came out to be for the three of them $17.97. So roughly $5 and some change for each. And then all the other tools like gel and stuff I have at home. I don't really know if I want to put gel in it, but maybe you can put gel for a sleeker look. We'll see how I feel once I start braiding, but you're gonna need some oil. And then I have a rat tail comb, wide tooth comb, regular comb, and some hair ties. Pew, pew. And what you're gonna do first is you're gonna start by parting your hair in little sections and braiding them down. So depending on how small or big you want your hair, you can I do this in a mirror? Hold on, hold on. What you're gonna do is part off your hair or section your hair. I want a nice little part in the middle of my head. I got my mirror right here, so. Just gonna have to visualize. And I, um, I washed and blow dried my hair this morning. I feel like this is the longest part of the process. I'm trying to get them parts straight. Yeah, I really do think this is the middle. Okay, so fast forward, basically you're just going to part and braid your hair all the way down to your liking. So that's what I'm doing, just parting my hair in like medium-ish sections because I don't want them too big, but I also don't want them too small. So I'm going to finish braiding and parting my hair to my liking and I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, so... Once your hair looks like this and you have it sectioned off to your liking and however many little butterfly locks you want. I know the back isn't perfect, but the front, the front, the front is the key. So I'm going to play around with the back and see if I can perfect it. And then I'm going to show y'all once I have a section of the front left, how it comes out. So bear with me. All right, honey, so I finished the back of my hair as well as this half, and this is how it's looking. I think I got the concept down pat pretty much. Let me come a little bit. Well, let me sit up straight so you can see. Okay, so this is how it looks on this side. I think... I did a pretty good job. I do want them shorter, like, 
probably right here so I'm probably going to cut them and maybe burn the ends I don't know we'll have to see because I just don't like burning ends I feel like lint gets caught in it and it's too hard and I don't want to be all scratched up but I'm going to show y'all how I did it and I only have this little section left so how many is that two four six eight eight so hopefully y'all can get the concept um I forgot to mention that you're going to need a you're going to need a crochet hook okay so and I have my mirror right here so if you see me looking over here that's that's why all right so what you're going to do is put your crochet hook through your hair and I have mine open I always put mine through my actual hair and my braid open never close because if this thing is closed and it's open it's going to snag your hair while you're trying to pull it through so I always leave it open and you're just gonna push it through the base of your braid and you're gonna take your faux lock and it has a loop on one of the ends and to widen that loop I just put a rat tail comb through it stretch it out with my fingers and so your loop can y'all see that so your loop is bigger and what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach that loop to the crochet hook clamp it pull it through your hair not all the way and you're gonna take your hair put it on that crochet hook close it pull it through the faux lock hair and then you're just gonna tighten it up just like that so now your hair as well as the faux lock are attached to each other so now what I've been doing with the Brazilian water curl if it's really thin then I'll use it but if it's kind of chunky then I split it into two making it look like this so um, just grab a little piece of hair this should be a good size and I didn't split this so you're gonna grab a piece of hair and you're gonna leave the end out and grab your hair as well as the crochet hair so you have the faux lock your hair and the little short piece of the Brazilian water curl hair and you're going to take the long piece of the Brazilian water curl and you're just going to wrap make sure you hold it tight at the base because you want the base to be tight you don't want it to slip off and you're going to wrap now you don't have to wrap too tight but wrap enough to where it feels secure and I'm going to grab that Brazilian water curl hair, that little short piece that I um, put with the faux lock in my hair. I'm going to pull it out a little bit. So now that you have like a, a little loop, and I'm going to wrap. And I'm going to take that Brazilian water curl hair that I have, pull it out a little bit, and I'm going to wrap. So once you get to the short end of that hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this long piece of that Brazilian water curl hair. So now that I have two long pieces, I'm going to take this, make a hump like so, and wrap. And just every so often, I don't have a specific amount of times that I've pulled the hair out, but you know, pull it out to your liking, check the mirror. Make sure it's nice and tight and make sure that you're wrapping your hair all the way down. So once you have basically that amount of Brazilian coral hair left, you're going to take another piece. You're going to have a short end and a long end. Short end, add that to your hair in the faux lock. Twist. I hope y'all get in the concept. You're gonna take out a little loop, make sure it's not your hair, and twist. And I'm not twisting all the way down because like I said, I do wanna cut it because I really don't want my hair this long. So we're just gonna twist. I only have that little bit of hair left. So we're gonna twist and twist. Okay, you should just be able to palm roll it and it should stay 
But there you have it, the little butterfly lock. And I'll probably like snip it right there or so, so it can be, you know, the length that I like. Look at that, I'm so proud of myself. This is the first time, first time. Okay, so we're gonna continue. I'm gonna try to move y'all a little bit closer so y'all can see. All right. Hook open. Push it through my reel here. Get your faux lock. Find the loop. Widen that loop. So now that you have a big loop, put it on that crochet hook. Close it. Pull it through the base of your real hair. Grab your real hair. Clip the hook. Pull your real hair through and tighten.
right y'all this is the finished look it looks cute I like it but I do want it to be shorter like right here so we may cut it I don't know we're gonna have to see more than likely I will be cutting this hair I only ended up using two packs of the Bobby new locks so I have one left over and then I ended up using all three packs of the Brazilian water curl hair so for future reference I will be only getting two of the Bobby new locks and three of the Brazilian water curl hair and I actually have one two three four five little locks left over from the Bobby new locks and then I want to say this is two little pieces of the um, Brazilian water wave hair so yeah I like it I like it I like it I like it I'm gonna look in the mirror play around with it a little bit and see if I want to actually end up cutting it and I'll let you guys know I really don't know if I want to cut this or not because I really wanted it like right here I don't know maybe I'll get a give it a couple of days and think about it but for right now, I'm going to put some design foam on it. Kind of smooth it out. Give it that fresh little pristine look. to do my edges we're not going to overdo them ladies we're just going to do a nice little swoopy swoop if that if that okay can y'all comment down below if this actually works for y'all this do not work for me unless I just don't know how to use it it don't work it be snagging it's too hard so I use an old toothbrush just a nice little soft swoop Sorry if y'all hear all that in the background. They just, I guess they don't quite understand English and what I be telling them, so. All right, Ember, oh, Eco Stabber. y'all not too dramatic and the style is finito it's finished it's done so i hope y'all like it comment like subscribe and let me know what you think <laughs> oh feels so good to have my hair